the fact that both of them failed within an hour of each other and failed totally could just be a coincidence. Or it could be someone trying to send us a signal. That's former White House cybersecurity advisor Richard Clark weighing in on the computer problems that shut down the New York Stock Exchange and United Airlines yesterday. Now, both are up and running today, and both saying that the incidents were not related and there's no indication they were cyber attacks. A short time ago, I spoke to Robert Cicliano about all of this. He's a cyber threat expert as well as a consultant to Hotspot Shield. I know that uh, at this point people are saying that it was just a coincidence and a uh, spokesperson for the Department of Homeland Security said no signs of malicious activity. But do you think, I mean, from what you know, that it, is it just coincidental that three major entities were all simultaneously impacted? Let's just hope that it's a coincidence because the day that uh, the stock exchange goes down, an airline is grounded and uh, the Wall Street Journal is attacked. Uh, it would be a, a really scary and sad day for the public and for information security. Well, you live in this world much more than the rest of us. So when you saw the events of yesterday play out, was part of you saying, you know, I've been saying there are so many more vulnerabilities than maybe the American public, let alone the government, wants to acknowledge. Um, is this part of our new reality, Robert? This certainly is our new reality. You know, technology... Uh, has overtaken our lives. You know, it's part of our critical infrastructures. Uh, it's part of our finances. And uh, when uh, something that we don't fully understand uh, scares us like this, uh, due to the fact that there's been so many breaches of data, uh, consumers want to know that they're going to be safe. You know, it's funny, Robert. I was speaking to a military analyst earlier this week, and we were talking about um, uh, the exit um, interview, if you will, that the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff was doing. He was talking about the future of warfare. And my guest was saying, you know, clearly the U.S. is still, um, regardless of the trouble spots in the world, we clearly have the advantage militarily in every uh, basic um, uh, discipline, except for cyber warfare. And he said in that respect, there's a level playing field out there, and you're not even talking with nation states right now. Where are our greatest vulnerabilities, and who are some of the worst defenders? The federal government is certainly um, lax in their uh, information security technology. Organizations like NSA, certainly they're up to speed, but when you have the uh, Office of Personnel Management hacked the way they have, uh, that's unfortunate. You know. My information was a part of that data breach. I, got, I received uh, letters from the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary, which I am a uh, staff officer in, that uh, my information had been breached. And that in and of itself um, should not have happened. Uh, so the, the, the feds really need to get up to speed. The feds and then consumers themselves need to get up to speed as well. Updating your operating systems, uh, keeping your antivirus updated, Make sure you have a, a virtual private network, a VPN for any wireless communications. These are all things that are fundamentals to information security, both for the consumers and, of course, for the feds as well. Obviously, Robert, um, there was inconveniences yesterday, 5,000 flights grounded, uh, information as it relates to Wall Street Journal and certainly what we saw with the markets. But nonetheless, it was an inconvenience. Give me your nightmare scenario and, and what folks in your world have, um, you know, in effect, a game played here as to where the, not only the biggest vulnerabilities are, but, but how it could really cripple the U.S. The moment that the electrical grid goes down for any extended period of time, my sense is that we'd devolve into um, some chaos in the not too distant future, meaning that um, most people aren't prepared to deal with no electricity, which means that there'd be no uh, gasoline because pumps couldn't pump. There'd be no deliveries to the supermarkets, therefore there'd be no food. I think the shelves would clear up pretty quickly, similar to how when there's a, a major storm coming. And last time I looked, less than 5% of the entire population is sustainable for any longer than a week as far as their food supply goes. So without food, without clean running water, uh, without heat, without electricity, uh, chaos would ensue pretty quickly. Critical infrastructure is going down for any length of time is where we would uh, fail. 
Um, certainly a scenario nobody wants to see. Robert, though, I appreciate a few minutes. Again, Robert Siciliano, I appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. And as always, we want to get you at home involved in our conversation. All you have to do is head over to Facebook and Twitter and sound off on tonight's online question. Are you concerned about a cyber attack hitting America?